going very well. At 16 years old, the youngest competitor in the men's field, affectionately known as Zoli, his coach is Graham Fiddler at the Rand Gymnastics Club. Salton does the most difficult routine of all the South Africans on this piece of equipment. There, two half turns on the one pommel, two circles on the one pommel, very difficult combinations. Again, two circles with the half turns on one pommel, and then the Magya walk across the pommel. He stays very straight, keeps his rhythm. Back to the middle. Compulsory scissors combination. You have to have two scissors in the in the routine, and his ending called the vendor dismount. What a good routine for the 16-year-old. Clenched fists of delight for Zoltan Erdi. And congratulations from his teammates. He's the turn on one pommel, three hand change, followed by the. 360 turn into the dismount called the vendor. Picked up the gold medal on Pommel in Harare and ended second on this apparatus in Cape Town, a score of 9,10. He's delighted with that. Standard eight pupil at Roosevelt High School. Alexei Vorofayev, already a big lead, prepares for his Pommel routine. Let's count the circles on one Pommel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another 360 mm -hmm. turn. What a difficult combination. And again onto one pommel. He's so comfortable on the one. Back scissor, followed by a front scissor, very high. Hips lifting high. Stay straight all the time, and then the dismount with the full turn to landing. He's so confident. Tremendous amplitude in those flares, Pete. He lifts his hips high up into the flares. <laughs> Nearly in handstand, and then up to the handstand. Little use of strength. Concentrates on the landing. And Alexei scores 9,45. That's a huge score for him. He can't suppress a smile. And he knows that his work for the evening is done. He'll come back and continue his competition. The challenge has been laid down by the Romanian girl, Ana Maria Bekan, so Oksana Chuzovitna has it all to do as she prepares for her bar routine. Simple kip mount, strong handstand. Hip to the high bar, you don't see that very often. That's a release, a hop, full turn with the giant with a hop. Change grip into the eagle giants, most often seen on men's high bar. Shoot through to the low bar, should have been in handstand. Handstand into the giants, building up some speed. Double back with a full twist and a tiny little hop shouldn't cost her too much. She's responded well to the challenge. The hop into the handstand on top of the bar. There you see the change of hands as she goes into the eagle giant. Pike over the top of the bar to extend to go into the next giant. Very high difficulty. Stretching down, driving the heels up into the full twist. Half in on the first somersault, half out on the second one. Interesting camera angles there from our camera on the bars. A score of 9,825 for Oksana Chuzovitna. Excellent score. And that will increase her gap over the Romanian Ana Maria Bekan. And confirmation of that, Oksana Chuzovitna leading the competition by some way now, 19,625. Anna Maria Bikan, some way behind. Reagan Tomasek is in third place. Andrea Lemans moved up to fourth. On the men's side, Alexei Voropai of a massive lead, comma 75 over Christian Brejianu. Good to see him in second. Vasile Chona in third. 
Dalton Erdies nicely placed in fourth. Jason Papp disappointingly right at the bottom. I will not be shut down. No one. Anna Maria Bekan, the Romanian. Great admirer of her fellow countrywoman, Lavinia Milosevic. Anna Maria mounts with a static mount, just a jump to split. Fulfilling the requirement of being close to the beam. A full turn, she bends her knees a little to control it. And a flick, flack, flick, flack. Lay out some assault, pulled it right off from the side, back up onto the beam again. Amazing how she was able to control that. Sometimes you will yourself to move in mid-air. Punch front with the Russian lift and a little jump afterwards. Excellent combination. Flick flack layout, very well controlled. Slight loss of leg form. Shouldn't hurt her too much though. The balance on the balance beam is superb. She moves very quickly and looks very confident. Little Cossack jump into the flick flack. That's a required mix combination. Preparing for the dismount. Placing her toes on the little mark she made before she mounted. Two flick flacks, double back somersault, excellent landing. Oh, yes, oh, yes, Anna Maria Bekan. We heard she falls apart in competition, but she's certainly not showing any signs of that. Flick flack on one leg, flick flack to two feet, and the layout somersault. The little wobble pulling it back up onto the beam. What a score. Nine covers 775. Anna Maria Bekan keeps the pressure on Oksana Chuzovitna. She has a narrow lead. But she needs a tight beam routine to maintain it. Oksana can do it, but she needs to concentrate. Punch front onto the beam, well controlled. Front aerial on the beam. Not seen very often in gymnastics on beam these days. Good strong handstand. Moving down onto the beam. And showing flexibility in that momentary scale. Concentration into the front up. And off she goes. She's going to be very upset with herself and she's going to have to really concentrate. Back somersault. Flick flack layout. Whoops. Very unusual from a professional and experienced gymnast like Oksana to do this. She could be throwing away her competition here. I think she has. Still looking controlled and confident. Towards the end, she's going to know she has to do a decent dismount. Full turn, a requirement on the beam. Round off, double back somersault, excellently controlled. Nothing wrong with the end, nothing wrong with the, with the beginning, but the middle had serious problems. For Oksana. Flick flack. Just not lifting her arms well enough, and she's unable to get her shoulders back up to stay on the beam. The round off, both feet on the end of the beam. Excellent height. She punches very hard off that beam. 
A starting value of 9,6. Those two falls mean a one deduction, so she still scores 8,5, which is reasonable, but those two falls could cost her dearly. And Anna Maria Bikan takes over the lead, 29,25 over Reagan Tomasek in second. Oksana Chusovitna now way back, Nadine de Kock in fourth place. That Reagan Tomasek would have a big lead over Oksana Chusovitna. She was 14th all around at the World Team Trials in Texas, 1995. Reagan needs a good floor and she should end second. Music from the series Dragnet on TV in the United States. Handspring, double twisting layout front. Exceptionally high difficulty. Not seen very often. Not even by the men, Michael. Very nice combination there of leaps, lovely straight long legs. Front handspring, one, one and a half twist front. Strongly built gymnast. She has a really beautiful body and it's very strong. Forward aerial, switch leap, punch front onto her knee. Required to mix these elements from acrobatic and jumps in the floor routine. The choreography of the routine is excellent. She's slowing down a little here. Catching her breath for her last tumble. And a triple twist to end the floor routine. Fractionally short, but it should only be a small deduction. Well done, Reagan. Kelly Hill is all smiles, a hug. From Reagan's famous coach, who also coaches Dominic Dawes. Arab Spring flick flack. She sets up very tight twist. The feet are just around enough to give her the triple. Nine cover six five. She's done it all and more. Reagan Tomasek will have the silver medal. Well, she needs a disaster to throw away this competition. It's basically on a plate for her now. A tidy floor routine, and she'll end first. A little Latin rhythm from the Romanian. Arab Spring flick flack, full in back out, very high. She doesn't even need to do anything to control the end. What a start. Working to the music of Miami Sound Machine. technique in her dance work. Leap combination there. Three leaps joined together by only one step in between each. Punch front, handspring, one and a half twist directly into the punch front that gives her a counter tumble series which gives her bonus. Now she can slow it down a little. Next combination here, Arab Spring jump into the flick flack. Mixed requirement. And a deep breath. Arab Spring flick flack, triple twist, excellent landing. Shushanova. And the end. Simply awesome from the Romanian Anna Maria Bekan. She knows she's got the gold. Running strongly into the tumble. Long flick flack. Good luck. Three twists. And she's very high and controls it well. Didn't even need as much difficulty as she threw in. 9,875 for Anna Maria Bekan. South African coach who's Romanian-born George Hristov giving her a kiss. It's well-deserved. Well, she can no longer win the competition unless she can score in 11,55, which is totally impossible. But she needs to bounce back and respond after her poor beam routine. 
Can she do it on the floor? 9,925 on this apparatus in Cape Town. This is worth seeing. It's spectacular. Enjoy. Into the arrow swing, flick back, double back, layout somersault, very high and not even a hesitation. She's not disappointing us so far. Directly into the second tumble. Full twisting, double back somersault. She overbalances but doesn't take a step. Even the straddle jump is high. Dramatic movement in the corner. Arrow spring flick flack. Double twist, immediate punch front, exceptionally high. And the leap combination showing good split and flexibility. Preparing for the final tumble. Handspring, full twisting front, front immediately after the layout. And a shushin over as high as anyone could possibly do. Simply marvelous, the consummate professional Oksana Chuzovitna bouncing back in the biggest way possible. She can't win, but she's done everything else. There's the Arab Spring flick flack. She sets it up strongly, and you see the full twist in the double back. And a powerful run. Spectacular technique in those flick flacks. It's no wonder she can tumble like this. Poetry in motion, a thing of beauty and a joy forever. Oksana Chuzovitna scores 9,95, the highest score in the world this year. What a terrific effort to round off a spectacular competition. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the women's competition of the Willem Bank International Challenge. Anna Maria Bekan is a surprising winner at 39,125. Reagan Tomasek had, had an excellent competition to end second. Oksana Chuzovitna will be disappointed having ended in third spot, but she's rounded it off in fine style. Nadine de Kock leads the South African challenge 36,35. Andrea Le Mans in fifth spot. The South Africans Caroline Zandri and Natalie will have gained valuable experience from this outing. Alexei Voropayev leads the men's competition after two apparatus, 18,95. A big lead over Christian Prezianu. Vasile Chona in third. Third. Sultan Erdi had a good competition as did Diavot Lopesha, Jason Papp disappointingly in bottom spot. The men's competition continues tomorrow as will the rhythmic competition for women. Join us again at 4 o'clock from Pretoria. Goodbye.